What we're looking at here today is the NFT system, or nutrient film technique. This system utilizes a film of nutrients that are passed over the roots of the plants. Most people think of this as a true hydroponic system. It includes three components. Uh, we have the channels here in which the crop is placed and is grown, and these channels are sloped from one end to the other. So the nutrient solution comes in on one end and passes over the root system and then is collected at the bottom end of the trough. Usually this slope needs to be something in the neighborhood of one inch for every 40 inch length of, tr of the trough. The other two main components of an NFT system include some type of a reservoir tank that will collect the nutrient solution and also a small pump that will pump that nutrient solution back up into these, into these channels. In Florida, the primary crops grown in the NFT systems include the herbs and lettuces, to a lesser extent, tomatoes and cucumbers. Yeah, the challenge with cucumbers and tomatoes, for instance, Mike, our experience with NFT here in Florida is it's, it's really challenging in the hot part of the year because the solution temperatures go up and we have a harder time keeping oxygen uh, at high enough levels for those crops. So our uh, preference probably for NFT would be the shorter season crops like lettuce or herbs. Basil, for instance, is one of the very popular herbs that's used in this NFT system. A short turnaround crop like basil or lettuce only lasts about 30 days from the time we plant it until the time we harvest. And that allows us to get a break in the system, get the troughs cleaned up, and put back our next crop. The NFT system has several advantages. One uh, of which is that it has a one-time cost. It's an upfront cost, it's one time. These are prefab structures. They're easy to install even for a novice individual. And, and you can construct this type of system on a bench setting like we have here to where the, there's no bending, stooping, it's at, at uh, worker height. Makes it a lot easier. And like with any system, there's advantages and disadvantages that a grower would need to consider. Uh, some of the disadvantages would be that it is recirculating in nature, so that if there is a disease or other problem that's introduced into the crop, it's going to recirculate through the entire crop instantly. So that's probably been one of our main challenges for these longer-term longer crops.